Okay, and welcome back to uh, my channel. So today I'm not gonna show you another tutorial, but I'm gonna break down these scenes that I have the render here. This is the seven unit of social housing that I have another modeling tutorial in my channel. You can check it out and say no more. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing first, I got this door and windows model from Akipak. Um, surely you have known Akipak. If you don't, then I'll make a tutorial about it. It's very easy to use. Okay, first is the material. The material of the house is basically bridge material. I got this texture from uh, CC0 Textures. And then I render a couple of frames and then I realized that the texture is too repetitive. So I fixed it by duplicate the uh, shader here and then offset it a little by the uh, Y axis. And then I mix the two materials with a noise texture here. You can see it. Here, then connect to the color ramp to make it more obvious. And as you can see, the black one is the first material, and the white one is the second material, which is the same, but I offset it a little bit. So the result is another bridge material, and the repetitive is almost gone. So pretty easy, huh? So next is the hole on the wall. I uh, didn't delete anything. I just applied a black material into it and set the specular very low so you can see anything inside. I think this is okay for an exterior rendering with the point of view so far away from the building. And it also decreased the render time pretty much. Next I have the concrete shader which I also get from CC0 textures and another one here which is lighter so I have two of them. For the balcony I use the lighter concrete here and the glass shader here. So this glass shader setup is quite not like the default glass shader. I found that the default glass shaders cause a lot of noise and takes more time to render. So I follow the principle from Chocofer at the Blender conference. So this is basically a mix between the transparent and a glossy shader with the fact of the layer weight and connect it with some RGB curve to uh, control the uh, blending. So as you can see, the layer weight is separate the shader in two parts, the front and the side. And on the front, we have a black color, which means it will be transparent. And well, for the side one, you can see it turn into white and it means it become more glossy and less transparent. So that's how that's how the glass shader work. For this setup, we'll get a nicer shader which can render faster and reduce the noise. But this setup can only be used with thin glasses such as glass panel and some thin vases. The car here I uh, get from Evomotion which is material only be used with 3ds Max or V-Ray but they have the SVS file which can import into Blender and I have to redo all the texture and material but I only use some basic shader such as the car pin here I use the glossy shader with some clear coat and 
the, for the tire and other parts as well. Okay, let's move on to the ground. So this one I have a mixture of many uh, material. So there's the grass texture here. I get it from uh, Quixel Mega Scan, and this street here I get the uh, texture from CC Zero. It really easy to use in Blender. Just select the principal shader and then Control Shift T and load on the texture, and the node regular would do the rest. For this pavement here, I also get from CC0 and the other material as well. For the leaves on the ground, I use the grass one add-on. It's an awesome add-on to add grass and other leaf stuff into your render. So I have this ground here. Then I open the grass one add-on. Then choose the dead leaves. The density of the leaves can be specified in weight painting mode. As you can see here, the red one is the most dense and the blue one is a zero dense. You can also use the vertex rope to define which one will be applied the dead leaves. And the most interesting part of the house is the garden. The garden here, I also use the uh, grass wall for the grass here. I made a plane and go to the sculpt mode to create some height. And then go to the vertex pane to paint out some density for the grass. And then in the grass wall panel here, I have many species for the grass. I already hide them for because it's kind of laggy so I'll open up for you to see so this is the uh, density of the grass when it's rendered so as you can see the grass will form a path for the garden and it will make the garden more interesting to make it more realistic I also get the stumps and the mossy rocks here from Quixel Mega Scan. You can see the details of the access is very good and it will increase the realism for your render. The next part is the tree. I already had them for the faster viewport. So the trees I get it from Evil Motion. And in the past, they are only made for 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. But now I heard that they uh, already released the Blender version. For this one, I also have to redo the texture and the shader. I'll take this tree for example. This is a hero tree on my render. It closes to the camera, so it must be more realistic first is for the trunk I add some subdivision because the tree of evil motion is quite low poly as you can see it here and I add a subdivision to increase the uh, resolution of the mess and then I add another displays modifier with a cloud texture here so it will add the bumpiness to the tree and make it become more realistic. When I import this model, I have to scale it up to fit with the proportion. So the leaves will become bigger than normal. To fix that, I have to go to the edit mode and scale all the leaves down. This method will make the tree have less leaves, but I want to create an autumn feel, so let's leave it acceptable. Even when I have the tree and the grass, there's still some gap between the trees and with the tree's leaves and the ground. That's why I create some plane with the texture is an image of a cluster. 
I uh, multiply the color with some yellow color to create the autumn vibe. In the rendering mode, you can see it will create a background for our scenes and give it some depth. To light up the scene, I used an HDRI from HDRI Heaven, but just having the HDRI light is not enough for our scenes, so I create another sunlight to enhance the contrast for our render. I already explained this method on my previous video. If you haven't seen it, the link is on the description. So the trees and the sunlight will create the uh, double light effect here. I also give the sun a warm color to match with the HDRI lighting. One thing that I almost forget is the additional lighting for the house. It's not just the sunlight, but I also create another light for the right side of the building. This light will make the building more pop up in render. And that is it for today guys. Hope this video helps you something. And remember to subscribe for more tutorial. I'll see you next week.